and good evening YouTubers. Today I'm going to show you how to add a loop in your wave file. And it's usually used for applications like Live Light 7, Vixcraft 4, or even a video game. So, what we're going to do is go back down to here, start, and let's open up uh, right here and explore. We go to Google, then we type in Wave Soar. I already have already copied from somewhere else. So Wave Soar. Just click like Google it. Then we go to Wave Soar Pre Audio Editor. Right here. The internet site. Go to downloads. And then you can click from these two down here. Wave Soar English or French. And then there's other ones down here. I clicked the top one. So once that's done and you downloaded it, you go to wherever it was downloaded, usually it's from documents or something, or downloads. And so we'll go there, go to documents, and we'll go downloads. Go all the way down. And here we go. It should be in an, a zip file. So open up the zip file and then either you can access it from here and edit your files from here or copy this to your desktop or something. What I did was highlight this whole thing here and this will allow me to use you know when opening up an audio file all able to pick it. So copy. Then we go back down to here, documents again, and let's scroll all the way to our main disk. Then we go to program files and right click, you create a new folder, and then hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Then it will pop up right here. The new folder, rename it to WaveSore. And then, if you do, take the RIR file or the zip file, copy, and then paste it into here. And that's how you install it. Now, next, what you do is let's say go to music. Now, let's see. Mostly it works with WAV files. So I'm just going to do it with WAV files here. Go to WAV. I'll find one here. And let's see here. Nature. And Fire. Right click on the WAV file here. And then go to Open With. Now usually it's not here. So we'll go to choose default program and then have always selected program you know on. Then we go to browse and now we're in program files as you can see here. Now we'll go all the way down to WaveSore and then click this that the application here. Open and then unclick this. Well also just click it so then this thing will pop up here the next time you do it. So do that. And now, since you're in here, what you'll see is you can loop the whole thing so it will play in the game or, you know, the audio file. Like, you know, Foodie Loops or Live Light 7. So here we go. Highlight the whole thing. And this one, I'm going to show you how to do for games first. So, I hit the whole thing, and you can either click Tools, click to Marker, and Create Marker M. There, you see the little M0 there, it's a marker. Then we go to the end here, and click over here so it's not selected anymore. Oops, there. And now we go to Tools again, and... Go to markers, 
create marker. There. Now you are set. Now what you do is click file, either save, or you can just click, you know, exit and then ask you to save or not and just say yes. So yeah. Exit out of there. And there you go. It's set for when in the game, it will continuously play. Like Valhammer and you know the editors. So, next I'm gonna show you how to let's see open up with you see here it popped up. Wavesore application. Highlight the whole thing. Then we go up to tools, marker, and instead of markers we do loop. So you can either just push you know like here. I'll push L on the keyboard and it created the two loops. So the next time an audio format plays like Live Light 7 or Mixcraft 4 opens this audio file, it will be in a loop. So just exit, save, and you're done. It's that simple to loop it.